regards to plot. Well, you can't yes. compare that. No, gosh. so it loses points on plot. <clears throat> I want to ask you a question. Yes. Would you downsize? Well, it depends who I downsize with. I don't think I'd do it on my own. Okay. So, no, if they said, like, if it's a downsizing sort of thing. option, yeah. and you could, they said, Mr. Uh, Mr. Paul, you can downsize. You're, you know. The impracticalities of downsizing are enormous. You mean like getting eaten by birds and chipmunks? Well, is that too? <laughs> I mean, you know, the fact that you're five inches tall does not, you cannot then turn around. You see, I'm a bit of a history buff. I couldn't go walking on the Great Wall of China. Well, you could. It'd just take you an awfully long time. <laughs> I'd get very bored of three steps. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking up at the step thinking, well, this is just going to be a long afternoon. Um, so but that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like we are scaled to this world for a reason. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, yeah. We, we aren't lemmings. But that's what I mean. It's an interesting thought, but they didn't sort of delve into... They didn't touch it. They, no. they could have made the whole movie about that, but mm. they wanted to do... So much more. I, I think possibly what their idea was, or what they were trying to thrust for, was to to come in at the problem. If you just came into a movie and says, this is about the destruction of humanity because of global warming, they'd lose half the audience. Yeah, I guess so. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. they came in at, at an oblique angle. Um, and in so doing so, they probably lost the other half of the audience. They're going, <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> I mean, the very last scene was interesting. Why? Um, oh, because you he's looking at... Remember, do you remember what the last scene was? With the sun going down? No. No, that was before they went into the hole. No, 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 no. The last scene... So, um, Paul, Matt Damon's character, yeah, Matt is running Damon. around doing all this stuff for um, Knock Land. Like, she's yeah. in the car because it's all rainy and doesn't yes. want her getting wet. Oh, yes, yes. And he's running around feeding... He's just fed um, that old, old like, and Mexican got, guy. And he had his heart filled by... I'm helping people. Yes. Even though these people weren't... And my life why, is better. Their generations, yes. generations won't be alive. I'm actually helping these people now. And this is what's important. And, I thought, and then she's beeping the horn. But they're, they're, they're doubling. <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're, Hurry up! <laughs> once again, distracting it from the, actually what they're trying to do. But yeah, look, I think that's because they were trying to make it very clear of what they were trying to get at. Oh, you I know, know, but as in, I'm debating whether people would be lost on it, is yeah. what I'm saying. So if you're going to destroy the world... Be hedonistically altruistic. <laughs> is, is is that the right grasp on it? That's probably what the movie's trying yeah. to say. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so the, the title shouldn't be downsizing. It should be a very small amount of um, humanistic altruism in a hedonistic style. No, I'm guessing that will lose 75% of the audience. <laughs> Don't care. Um, get a thesaurus. So have you worked out whether it's going to be three or eight stars yet? I'd like to hear what you've got to say on that. Uh, oh. First of all, would you like to talk a little bit more about... There's one other chap who uh, whose performance I thought was quite good, though I can't pick where he's from. Who? The old bloke who's rich, who owned the boat. I know he was only periphery. Oh, I haven't got him written down. Um, <gasps> um, you didn't do proper research, Pip. Oh, don't you even say you've got... <laughs> Can I just tell listeners that I've got a book in front of me with stuff written down and yes. Paul's come to the table oh, with his glass excuses. and his drink. Somebody's got to it. hold up the considered side of this. I can only do so much conceited, you know. <laughs> um, is it Comrade? Was his name Comrade? Yes. I, I, See, at least it, I've got that. Yes, but I what did movie he been in? No, no, I did recognise him. Yeah, I did recognise him, but I can't think what movie he's been out of. That one, right. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> I'll well, look that up over the uh, interval. <laughs> yeah, you really won't. Oh, you probably will. Yeah, <laughs> knowing you. Um, um, those two men together were great. I thought they did well. I, it was a kind of bizarre twist sort of thing, but I didn't know what their relationship was. It, what, were they lovers? No. Friends? They were just mates. 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 As he in drove... mate, as in nudge, nudge, wink, wink? No, as in no nudge, does mates. Oh, okay. Um, remember, um, Jusan was saying that he's brother and his mm. wife was still tall and they were the ones getting stuff ready and sending it to him and he was the one selling it to all the small communities yes. and um, Comrade in his boat was assisting. Mm. Now one of the little things that annoyed me. The little things? The li- <laughs> so well, you- <laughs> yes right there. We can so- do this all night ladies and gentlemen. Um, 
One of the things that irritated me was there was no explanation. This is what I mean. They had no explanation. That was everything was just a little too easy and a little too explain uh, to people. Well, people were using microwaves. How do you make a microwave that small? Do you have to downsize people who make microwaves? Well, yeah, they were downsizing everybody. They had dentists there working who were downsized. Yes. So yes, you'd have to downsize everybody who that you want working and doing all that stuff. And they were downsizing prisoners, which is why um, Knock Lamb was downsized. Downsized computers. I'm assuming everything would work if you, you make it smaller. Well, uh, obviously, there have to be nanotechnology. But we move on. Um, That's what you're worrying about? <laughs> oh, it was annoying me because they didn't even, like, they didn't touch on any of that. Like, the, the technology that would have been required to pull that sort of shit off is just astonishing. You know, yes, uh, but that's not what they're looking at in this film. They're looking uh, at all the little things that they like to touch a little bit on and then not explain. Or I'm go doing it. Into. I'm having another Bren gun moment, aren't I? Yes, you are. Okay, all right. All right, I'll give it a what? star. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a star. Let You're going to give it a star, are you? That's, Normally, that's... I think about my stars before I come here, but I had a lot of trouble with this because, like you said, it was, it looked great. Right. And it could have touched on lots of interesting... It had interesting concepts. That's why I but hold never off. Went there. I, I, don't, I don't have a star, ever. I, I listen to what you've got to say and then I'll bounce off that. And I, then after I've heard... So what you listen to, say, to what I say before you do this? Every time. So everything, so everything I'm saying is going in there and... I put it through the pit filter. Oh, wow. I feel yeah. special. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying means something. Oh, my gosh. Um, no, well, you know, it's... Obviously, like, it's very hard to come up with your own conclusion sort of thing unless you're hearing what other people... And then it helps concrete in your own mind. Do or, I agree with that? Puts, Do I disagree with that? Does it put that? light on something? It illuminates it. gives oh. it extra texture. Mm. Mm. Um, oh, I'm having trouble here. Um, go on. You can do it. I almost want to say six because I wouldn't go and watch it again. <laughs> but would, would you recommend it to people to watch? Um... I wouldn't not... If people said, oh, should I watch this? i go, uh, I guess you could. Um, I would. Oh, it's all right. I would. I, maybe, I think maybe a, a seven. I'll go a seven then. You'll go a seven. I'll go a seven. So this, it does look interesting and it has interesting f- concepts, but... Yeah. Um, it fails in many departments. Oh. I just... There's so much they could have done. They could have made three or four separate films. Can you see why I films. struggle between the three and the eight? Because it was such a bold concept. I don't think it was bad enough for a three. Well, you could but I don't argue, think it's good enough for an eight. You could easily argue for a three. I, I'll go, I could. I could almost go six and a half. I, look, the acting was good. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the plot was all over the place. That, which irritated me a lot. Yeah, the lighting was horrible. What? The lighting. What was wrong with the lighting? It just felt horrible. Like everything. <laughs> I actually uh, didn't find that bad at all. Well, I know that the, while they were living out in the... Um, you know how they were living under that tarp? That was to, to look like it was Are you sunshine. talking about the shandy, the shandy small community? Yes. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Oh, well, there's that. That was quite grim in there. What are you um, talking about? Well, Norway really shat me. <laughs> what was <laughs> maybe, wrong with Norway? May, maybe that's how Norway looks. I don't know. <laughs> maybe what I don't want to go Norway? to Norway. I don't know. It just kind of looked... Really, really fake. It, it, you know what I mean? I'm sure they, they look. I know we, we'll take I wonder photos. where it was shot, oh, the Norway God, I'm stuff. I'm going to get shot for this. I'm going to look over the interval. Are you? So, what are you going to look at? I'm looking up Comrade, who he actually was and what film he was in, yeah. and whether they actually shot in Norway. Should I just take back the lighting? The lighting? I'll take no, back no, the lighting. No, I'll, no, no, I'll I'll I will. I will. I think perhaps I was just being overly zealous in my criticism. Okay, but you I'm to... wrong. I am sorry. You can't say you're wrong. Of course, yet. I can say I'm well, wrong. You don't know. We don't know if it's shot there. No, I realised that I was just being overly dramatic on that. I'm still looking it up. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, pick well, a, pick a star. Come on, lock yourself in. Oh Jesus Christ! Lock um, yourself in. You can do it. Come on. My heart of hearts is saying four. Wow, that's low. Yeah. Okay. And it's only saved by the fact that everybody was really acting their their, their asses off. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. There it is. Would you like me to explain why? Because no, no, you no. seem to have these little conniptions about my scoring. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all good. And it's the all... feedback we've been getting is so of other people. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is he doing that for? Why would he do that? <laughs> no, it's, 
I'm just happy that everyone agrees with me that your star ratings are weird. They are, aren't they? Very. But I'm happy to explain them. Go for your life. You look at the film. No, don't give me that look. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the film and you go, first of all, what is it? Is it entertaining? Well, answer, no, it's not. Heart of hearts, were you entertained? I'm more entertained than other things. Like banging a nail through like my Like North by Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> but only, but I gave North by Northwest a three. This was more entertaining than North by Northwest. But not by very much. <laughs> not by very oh, much. Come on, come okay. on. It wasn't that much more entertaining. So is that logical and consistent? All right. For, for that particular aspect. No, look. The second thing is it gets an extra point because, as I said... The acting was top rate. Okay, the acting. It just seems like such a small star for slightly entertaining and good acting and interesting concepts. Even if the plot, it's got to have more than that. It's got to. It's really got to bring a lot of things to the table. You, I gave um, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels a ten. Yes. Okay. Because it's perfect. It's not a big. It's not a big film. It's not a rich film. It doesn't have a. Pardon me. Doesn't have a lot of money under the belt, but the cast is all there. The there are no questions at the end of it. You do not feel like there is anything they should have done differently. Everything is complete and whole, like a perfect circle. Do you know what I mean? Everything happened. I know. And everything I know. else happened for a reason, and you have the ultimate satisfaction at the end of it. Well, would you suggest this film to other people? We. No, well, let me finish. Were I'm you satis- Were you satisfied at the end of downsizing? No, but I wasn't like totally uh, not entertained. But you know, I sat through the whole film. And, you know, yeah, and didn't go. That was the biggest load. Well, of... you, there was about three or four laughs in it. There oh. were about three or four. There was not that many. There was not that many. It I wasn't don't even particular... know if I laughed that many times. No, because there's not that many laughs. Well, in some it. of the laughs I looked at and went, "That's really cheap and nasty." Yeah. There was about three or four laughs in North by Northwest. Awesome. Admittedly, they were done worse <laughs> and because Kerry fucking Grant was trying to drop the, the, the lines. We still have to pick a film with him in it. <laughs> Another one, just God, for the let's, two. Let's give us a couple of months Anyway, on that. so, all right. Yeah. Um, and so, and at the end of the day, I just go, well, it didn't entertain. It wasn't particularly funny. Um, the plot was all over the place. What it was trying to do, it failed to do. So that in itself gets it only to five. Because if a film sets out to achieve something and it fails to do that, then realistically you cannot give it a pass, can you? No. Well, there you go. All right. But would you suggest it to other people? Yeah. That's... Oh, okay. Again, I don't care about their time. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they might get something out of it. There are things to get out of it. But it's, and at the end of the day, two and, what is it, two and 15 minutes, two hours and 15 minutes isn't a long time out of a person's life to, to maybe have a small window in their mind open. Okay. Well, there you go. Cool. And, and the film could possibly do that. So there you go. Awesome. Alrighty, we're going to take an intermission. God, we talked a lot about that one. Did we? Oh, 28 minutes. What? Yes. No way. Oh, Yes. I'm sorry, people out there. <laughs> we waffled on. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think we'd say much about that film because I wasn't terribly impressed. And when I say we, what I mean is me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to take an intermission and Paul's going to refill his drink. Okay, so I can waffle on some more. Oh, fun time. Hey, what's the next film? Um, guess Who's Coming to Dinner, the 1967 film. Now, I picked this one. You picked this one. I but did. we're not talking about it now. This is after the intermission. If you haven't seen it yet, stop the film. Stop here. Stop the film. <laughs> Get a copy of it. Watch it. Oh, they enjoy could, it. They could hear what we have to say, then watch it. Whatever suits you. Get the film. Tequila! Yeah. And we're back. <laughs> what are you laughing for? Oh, no, just the way you did that was funny. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, the previous that no one else got to Ladies and gentlemen, you, know. you can see why she's so easily amused, can't you? 
nothing wrong about being easily amused. Well, it's a lot, it's so a lot cheaper better. than 